Huh. Let me get this thing working here. It's kind of been a minute. Hello, people. What's going on, guys? So, first of all, apologize for not having a video in a while. It's been probably like three or four weeks since my last video. I don't remember the exact date. I'm uh, gonna make this real brief though because this video does have a topic and a purpose uh, but have a whole, a whole bunch going on. FTO is going great, not gonna get into details. Uh, I am selling my car, I ripped all the wrap off it, it's white. I might show you guys it later because we're gonna go take pictures so we might do that. So this is kind of be a like a duty belt video slash kind of vlog type thing. Those of you that are here just for the duty belt, completely appreciate it. It'll be a, the first part of the video will be that and then the last part you don't have to watch but uh, I don't wanna bore you guys anymore because I'll talk about life and things later in this video, so let's get to the point of it. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit hard for me to manage just as far as, actually, you know, I'm gonna turn my mic around. Ha, huh, I bet that sounds better. I don't have like a perfect tripod to kind of show you guys a duty belt because it, they are so wide. Uh, that's just the reality of, I mean, of any belt, a belt's gotta go around a human, therefore making it incredibly wide, so I really don't have something to kind of like come all the way back like that. I mean, you can see it there, but yeah, voice crack, sweet. Before we get into this video, I just wanna let you know that nothing you're going to see here is stuff that you couldn't find on Google or you couldn't find literally on your police officer in your local, wherever the heck you live. So this isn't anything like super secret. Uh, everyone knows what's on cops, duty belts. It's, it's pretty simple. I mean, not everyone knows, that's why you're watching the video, but uh, basically all cops wear the same things and I, and I use that very loosely because it's not true but it's true uh, most cops around the United States we all wear kind of the same thing I mean and we'll, we'll go into it basically how common things are and stuff like that but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way down the line here onto each uh, item that's on my belt and I'm gonna talk kind of specifically about it in a way. So guys, some departments do not allow their officers to wear their things a certain way, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up now. Uh, my department allows us to wear our belt however we want, as long as we obviously have the essentials on it. Now I know some departments are like, this has to go here, that has to go there. That is not the case with my department. We're allowed to wear our belt the way we would like to, and the way that comforts us most. Okay, so starting up here, first obviously you have your buckle. Uh, it's pretty standard on almost every police belt. You usually will get three tip, uh, three types of buckles. One, this is the nickel one. I think I would say it's the most common one. It's just a silver nickel. I think it looks best out of the other ones. The second one you can get is a brass one. Uh, it's kind of got that gold finish to it. Uh, but all the brass ones I see usually look pretty worn out and just don't look very good. Third one, I take it back, is probably my favorite one, but most departments don't allow it. I do not think my department does. Actually, I've never asked but I'm pretty sure they don't it's the kind of the uh, it's the belt clip it's it's just like a, a regular belt clip that goes in uh, instead of one of these guys it allows for a lot of more a lot more adjustability uh, but unfortunately I don't think my department accepts them but this looks a lot better in uniform anyways well my belt goes my mags these are two different mags that I carry uh, obviously for my pistol pretty self-explanatory pistol rounds go in there it's I mean, there's not really much I can talk about other than that. Uh, I like the ones that are hard. My department uh, supplies the, I don't even know what this is, like a hard plastic. Uh, there is some that is like a really soft plastic and I don't like kind of like this leather. Uh, they kind of will provide, but luckily my department provides the hard ones so this doesn't look all nasty. It stays formed and looks good. Next up is the uh, famous and popular, yep, you guess it, uh, taser. So this is the taser. Uh, not all departments carry tasers as far as I'm concerned. A lot of departments do these days. Uh, however, this is this is a taser. I mean, it's a taser, extra cartridge in the back. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's a taser. It zaps you, you ride the lightning, you cry, and go to jail. So it's basically how it works. But that's taser, you can tell. Uh, we'll get into this in a second when I wear it and show you guys. It's on the complete opposite side of the firearm and I'll get into why that is in a second. Next up is the radio pouch. So again, I accidentally click stop recording. Feels bad, man. Next up is the radio pouch. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it holds the radio. Uh, I actually supplied myself with this one because I like the style better than the ones that my department had, uh, which you can do at most departments. You can buy your own stuff. It has a little clip here uh, with a bungee type cord and it holds down my radio. So my radio's in it, it holds it down. So if I ever have to chase somebody, I don't have to worry about it flinging around. It also has a Velcro strap here, so I can tighten it all the way around. And then a uh, 
kind of like a, a leather, a hard leather piece here so the radio just sits on that. So it's really nice, I like it. Next up, I'm pretty sure every single duty belt's gonna have this in all of America. It's a flashlight. It's simply that. It's This is a small stream light flashlight. It's a really good one. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Stryon LED, kind of see it there. Really good flashlight. It's, it's really good. For the size of this thing, it's actually unbelievably bright. So I'm pretty sure everyone carries a flashlight. Uh, I do want to get a different holder for my flashlight simply because uh, it always pops open when I get in and out of the car. One of the most annoying things is like like I said, I'll, I'll get in the car and as soon as I get in the car it'll go like that and it'll annoy me and I'll have to bu buckle it back. They do make rings you can wear um, or a smaller profile one to where this is a little lower here and this comes a little lower. I'm probably going to do something like that. Honestly, this next thing is something I didn't know about until I got into policing. Uh, I guess it's just nothing, something you just don't notice on a police belt uh, because it does kind of blend in with the belt. Uh, you can kind of, I mean, it's hard to see when it's on my back, but I have a lighter color uniform, so it's easier to see on mine. But this is actually a disposable glove pouch. Uh, it's very, very thin, and this is just where you put some nitrile gloves or anything like that. Disposable gloves go in here. So if you get to scene or something, you didn't think you needed gloves, you reach to your back, you have gloves, boom, you protect yourself from other bodily fluids that aren't yours uh, or whatever. It's, it's really helpful. I actually don't have a pair in here, which is very uncommon, which which means on my last shift I had to use a pair. Don't remember for what, but I did have to use a pair because I always keep a pair on my back because you never know. They do make some that uh, are a little bigger uh, that you can put like actual gloves in, but I like disposable gloves because I use them once and throw them out. Next thing on here is also self-explanatory. I'm not gonna pull it out because it's a pain in, the ass, pain in the ass to get out, but it is a baton. I mean, it's a baton. Uh, most of you guys know what a baton is. It's an expandable one. So I pull it out and, and you know, throw it down or whatever and it expands and that's a baton uh, that sits right there and then behind my gun I actually just realized my other handcuffs so my uh, duty belts pretty tight right now because it was hanging up uh, so I got to kind of switch things around here uh, but next up on my duty belt I have handcuffs these are actually my hinge handcuffs and I'll show you guys that difference of that they have an actual hinge that you can see there uh, these are self uh, supplied as well I bought these myself uh, and they go on my back. These are the ones I trained with in the academy. So I'm very familiar with those. So the carrier I use, uh, a lot of people use it. Some people don't. Uh, some people like the flap. Uh, for me, when I, want it, when I need to get handcuffs, I don't want to have to unbuckle something like this. Uh, for personal preference, I want to be able to just grab it. It sits in there, retention, uh, it does not fall. Even at a full sprint, it's not going to fall. Uh, and I can just tug on the top part right here and the handcuffs come out. If I want my handcuffs, I need, I want to be able to get my handcuffs and that's why I wear them there and have this type of case. Next up, uh, I shouldn't really have to explain it, but yes, this is my firearm with uh, my holster. You'll tell this is uh, very thick on the end here. This is because uh, our guns have flashlights on them. Most departments do. Pretty sure like every department has a flashlight on their gun. Uh, and that's so that it can go in there. That's why it's like a box here and not conform to the gun. But that's where our firearm sits on. And I'm right-handed, so on my right side, vice versa if you're left-handed. Lastly, on my belt, uh, I have these, which are obviously more handcuffs. For more handcuffs, these are actually my chain cuffs. I carry one pair of both. You can see how hard it is to get out with one hand, uh, in this position at least. I carry chain and I carry uh, a hinge, certain, just because it's nice to have both. I prefer a hinge, however, a chain are good to have when you have someone that can't necessarily fit in hinge, uh, like a bigger shouldered person. Um, and also, I have the same exact case. It's a different case because this is a square bottom, that's more of a V, but it's the same style. It sits in there and you pull the top out, the handcuffs come out. And lastly, you have the belt loop thingy. The thing I did want to talk about as well is what is up here. I know some of you guys are probably wondering. Again, something else I wasn't familiar with before getting into policing. These are called belt keepers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different belt keepers I wear on my belt. They actually go in between things like here, here, here. Uh, I, have, I wear one back here. Then I wear one in between my magazine and my taser and I wear another one that sits behind my radio and my flashlight right here. What these do is these attach to my actual belt that I'm wearing. So you wear a normal belt and they go around a normal belt and then go around this and it keeps your belt up on your waist. Uh, Cause if not all of this weight would cause your actual belt to just fall down like to the top of your thighs. 
So you need belt keepers that keeps them held up. Also, when you're pulling things out of your belt, the belt keepers keeps the belt down. So when you pull out, of course, that is definitely what he said. When you pull something out of its holster, it will stay, the belt will stay. It won't make the belt come up. A typical belt, this is kind of how these work. It is a pain in the ass. I'm not wearing my actual stuff right now, obviously. So uh, I'm wearing shorts. But usually I'll throw it around like this, take it on, throw it where it needs to go, buckle it on, and then latch it there, and as well as here. And then I actually take these handcuffs and I slide them over my belt so this belt cannot come off. Uh, no matter how hard someone would to tug at my belt, this belt's not coming off simply because of here, here, and I also slide my handcuffs over the thing that requires it to come off. Just an extra security thing I do. And then I'll slide my gun up, which will sit right there. I'll have a belt keeper here. My handcuffs sit back here away from my gun. I make sure that my gun does not, like this, I make sure it sits back here so I can get my firearm without hitting my handcuffs. Baton and handcuffs sit pretty close together. And then as we go around, you'll see, go around, you'll see, we'll have, that's, that's where that sits. And then I'll have my flashlight here and come around this side. I'll have my taser right here, mags right here, and a radio also right there so I can adjust the volume seamlessly. I'll tell you guys about why you have your pistol here and why you have your taser here. If you ever see someone that has a pistol here and a taser here, or a pistol here and a taser here, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's against like most departments policy, but it's also very dangerous. Uh, if I need to get my taser for some reason, I want to be able to reach to the other side of my body, like so. So it's a very distinguished move. This is, this is a very uncomfortable movement to grab my taser, when in the firearm I can get a flash of an eye. So the reason that is, is because if I go to use my taser, if my taser was over here with my gun, and I reached and accidentally grabbed my gun and accidentally shot someone, obviously that's an issue. So uh, the reason the taser is on the whole opposite side of the gun is so you, you can't really mess up what you grab. This is, this is very easily the gun over here, all the way on this side, with a huge extra effort to just get to the taser. So that's why those are on two different sides if you ever wanted that. Guys, this has been the duty belt part of this video. I'm gonna go into a vlog now about my car. If you're not interested in watching that, you don't have to, but thanks for watching the duty belt. Now time to go take pictures of my car. So guys, I decided to actually do two separate videos. Uh, one's gonna be the duty belt video, and the other one's gonna be a different vlog. But a couple things I wanted to mention about a duty belt. Uh, a lot of thing, a lot of people actually wear a tourniquet. I got one in fan mail, if you guys remember. I don't personally wear one. Uh, I have a whole bunch of them readily accessible in my vehicle. Uh, but some different things you'll see on some duty belts, like I said, you'll have tourniquets uh, with a little tourniquet case on there. You'll see a lot of people will flip these magazines to be vertical and not horizontal. I prefer it to be horizontal. Uh, lots of different types of tasers. Uh, you really don't see many two, uh, two different uh, holsters like this, uh, but as far as flashlights, batons, handcuffs, they all kind of go the same. I believe in carrying two handcuffs um, because, I mean, I'm, in, I'm a month or so into FTO and there's already been multiple shifts where I've had to expend both of my handcuffs. Actually, about a week ago, uh, I had no handcuffs on my belt because I had to use both of them. Uh, so. If there's one tip I can give you guys if you're looking at becoming a police officer, the main thing for me is two handcuffs. I know I'm a rookie, I'm still very new into it, but two handcuffs have saved me more than none, as well as this damn uh, pouch right here for gloves. I honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not a germaphobe, but I don't like touching things that I'm not supposed to touch, and there goes the TV. This is the most part, guys. That's the uh, duty belt video one more time. I'll show you guys my belt. This is my belt. And uh, yeah, it's just, oh, also you can get belts that have like leather, I mean not leather, but like Velcro on the inside instead of using belt keepers and then you can have a belt. Actually my belt has Velcro on the outside uh, and they actually use a, I'll show you this belt. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, I don't like belt buckles while I'm wearing a, well, a belt buckle. So I actually have a fully Velcroed uh, belt and there's no buckle on it. So I'm not, as they say, double buckling when I put this belt on and have two buckles on top because then, and then the belt fits really weird. But I wear this thing, it has Velcro on the outside. So if I ever got a duty belt, that had Velcro in the inside. Instead of belt keepers, you can do that or you can do both for extra securedness. Um, but I wear this and then this goes on and then the belt keepers actually grab 
this and that keeping it you know keeping it right where it needs to be when I'm pulling things or I'm placing things back in but for the most part that's my duty belt uh, I'm a size 34 waist and that's how much stuff I can fit on my belt I can't fit much more it's pretty much filled to the top uh, this is actually a little close to my back um, but it's not too bad uh, but this is if you push everything to the left and a little bit to the right my spine sits about right here so my entire spine is has nothing on it so when I sit down it doesn't hurt or anything so which is very important which you'll learn eventually if you're going in the police academy or something but uh, yeah that's basically my setup that's why we have a little gaps everywhere it's not too extravagant it's a basic police officers duty belt setup hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos as I can guys I like I said I am extremely busy uh, with doing other things like you know my actual job being a police officer so hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you guys like this video make sure you drop a like we'll get some more videos if you guys got some video ideas I can I can get them out there but you guys drop a comment down there of the next video that guys would like to see and we'll work on it thanks guys appreciate you goodbye